Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can collect open source data from Telegram for OSINT. Have you watched the introductory video on our channel, where we discuss how online communities are a rich source of open source intelligence? If not, I highly recommend that you watch it. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Telegram is a messaging service that allows users to communicate via private, encrypted chats. It also allows users to create groups to interact with each other. These groups may be public or private. The contents of public groups can be accessed by anyone with a Telegram account. Public Telegram groups are being used to engage in discussions about technology, entertainment and education. They are also used as a marketplace for the sale of contraband goods, as a communication medium for illegal activities, media sharing platform for pirated content, etc. During an OSINT investigation, it is possible to find interesting evidence from public Telegram groups. Now, I will demonstrate how you can collect open source data from Telegram. The first step is to set up a dedicated Telegram account for OSINT activities. To register on Telegram, a mobile number is required. I suggest that you obtain a burner SIM to create an account. Once an account is created, Telegram will access the contacts stored on your device. For this reason, it is important to use a separate mobile device during an OSINT investigation. You can create a Telegram account using the mobile application and use Telegram for OSINT either using the web client or the desktop application. Here, I am using the web client. There are different viewing versions. During account creation, you will be asked to create a username for your account. This name is unique across the entire Telegram platform. You can modify this username at any time. Once the account is set up, modify the privacy settings for enhanced security. You can search for users using the Telegram search bar. This is the Telegram username. This is the first name and last name. There are two types of online communities on Telegram, channels and groups. I will perform a search for red teaming. You can see two results here. One result has subscribers and the other result has members. The result with subscribers is a Telegram channel. Here is a channel I have subscribed to already. You can view the total number of subscribers here. The channel owner can broadcast messages on a regular basis to channel subscribers. The subscribers can only react to the messages and forward them, but cannot reply to them. You can view more details about the channel by clicking on its name. This is the channel bio, and this is the Telegram username. New subscribers will have access to message history and media sent on the channel previously. Only the channel owner can view the entire list of subscribers. Now, I will perform the search for red teaming again. The result having members corresponds to a Telegram group. Here is a group that I am already a member of. I have access to older message history and media. In addition to reacting to messages and forwarding them, I can also send messages on the group to interact with other group members. By clicking on the group name, I can view the group's bio and the Telegram username. For a group, it is possible for non-admin users to view the list of other members on the group. The users who have been active on the group recently would be displayed first. Using the search feature, I can search through messages on the group. For each message, you can view the exact timestamp at which it was sent on the group. This timestamp corresponds to the time zone your computer is currently operating in. Knowing how Telegram channels and groups exist would help you collect data during an OSINT investigation. There are dedicated search engines to search for Telegram channels and groups. This is one tool to search for Telegram channels. 
you can perform searches based on the name, channel bio, or hashtag. I will search for all channels using the hashtag Android. There are eight channels. Telegago is a custom Google search engine to search for Telegram channels, groups, and telegraphs. Telegraph is Telegram's publishing tool for longer blog-style posts. Lizem is a similar tool that can search for channels, groups, bots, telegraphs, and messages. Telegram search engine is another one. Try it out. Every user on Telegram is assigned a unique identifier. To find out the Telegram ID for a user, you can use this bot. Simply provide a Telegram username and input, and view the user ID displayed by the bot. To find out the approximate date when a Telegram account was created, use the creation date bot. To use this bot, pick the target account for which you want to find the creation date for. Pick a message sent by the target and forward it to the bot. The bot will display the user ID and the account creation date. This feature is very helpful when you are tracking a target's activity on Telegram. TGStat is a tool that can be used to view engagement statistics about Telegram channels and groups. You can view the catalog of online communities on Telegram on a per-country basis. Here, you can view the engagement statistics for the Fox Cybersecurity Channel. We can also view the posts on the channel. You can also search across all public channels and groups for posts containing a specific keyword. You can specify the search period. Using the premium version of TGStat allows you to use more search filters. Telepathy is a tool designed to collect data from Telegram for OSINT. You can use this tool to identify the number of users in a group, enumerate the members of a group, download the shared media, etc. This is the target group we want to investigate. We will use the Telegram username to investigate this group. I have set up this tool on a virtual machine. I will use the T-switch and specify the name of the target to investigate. Here cybersecurity experts. You can also specify the Telegram name belonging to a user. When you use this tool for the first time, you need to configure it to use your Telegram account by providing the API details and your mobile number. The tool has identified the group's bio. Total number of members the date the first post was made, among other details. The details of the 5,000 most active participants of this group have been saved to a CSV file. Within this file, you can find the Telegram username, full name, user ID, phone number, and the current group they are a part of. Telepathy also allows you to gather the reactions sent for all the messages in a group, calculate the number of times a message has been forwarded, etc. You can also export all the chats associated with your Telegram account into a CSV file. Genesis is another tool you can use to enumerate the users of a Telegram group. Try it out. You can also construct search engine queries to search for Telegram users, channels, and groups. The URL to join a Telegram online community, be it a channel or group, looks like this. The word telegram.me slash joinchat, followed by a sequence of alphanumerical characters. We can construct search engine queries to search for Telegram invite links. The string telegram.me slash joinchat is provided within quotes. 
This query searches for invite links relevant to Bitcoin only. This query searches for invite links relevant to malware analysis. It is also possible for telegram.me in the invite link to be abbreviated to t.me. We can also search for invite links on a specific social media platform. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source data can be collected from Telegram for OSINT. Why don't you set up your own Telegram account, pick some targets and investigate them? I am sure you will have some interesting findings. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!